We are here with Jay Hoffman. Jay Hoffman. Jay Hoffman is a district manager for a dealership with well, Mac, right? Yeah, I, I work for Mac Corporate, district manager in the southeast region. Oh, for, so you're a big man. You're oh, a boss no, man. No, no. <laughs> I work for corporate, not a dealer, but yes, yeah, so cool. I cover the southeast region. Yeah. So if I'm looking for a new truck, right? Absolutely. Can you give me some reasons why I would go for a Mac? Absolutely. First thing, I mean, for reason number one, I mean, it's a badass looking truck. It is. You know I mean? It is. I mean, so, I mean, it's a total refresh, if you will, of the hood, all redesigned, LED, everything. Uh, you know, it's just bold. It's, um, it's deceptively sleek. Yeah. So even though that, you know, it still looks like a Mack truck and everything, it's actually more aero than our predecessor, the CX, the Pinnacle, we improved it uh, 3% better aero, mm. just based on the, the flow, the airflow. Um, changing different things, you know, just simple as, uh, how you un unlock the hood now? It's just one latch. Wow. And two fingers, you can open it up. Easy. Are you supposed to grab it from the dog? Yeah, the dog is. Yeah, that's uh, that's how that's how you open the hood. Yes. And you just just one poop. That was like it. a Ford almost. Just. That's right. So no more latches on both sides. It's just right there, right in the middle. The driver doesn't have to walk around on each side to undo the latches. Simple. That is like amazing. That. You know. Still have the same proven uh, powertrain that we've had over the last couple, you know years with the MP8 engine, MP7 mm -hmm. engine, the M drive transmission. What are you kicking about 300 horsepower under here? Well, this is the MP8, so mm -hmm. it goes anywhere from a 415 to a 505. You know, 18, 60 foot pounds of torque. Wow, that's bad. Yeah. And so, um, you, this is automatic, correct? Right, it's okay. automated manual. It's our own proprietary M drive mm -hmm. transmission. It's a 12 speed uh, transmission. All right. Manufacturer in Hagerstown, Maryland. But. You know, you look at everything's LED now, and so you got the three-piece bumper. You know, so if you uh, damage one thing, you don't have to replace the whole the whole bumper. You can replace sides. The hood's actually a three-piece. Uh, so if you just you know mess up this side, you can just uh, pop that order that, pop that off, put another piece on oh. there. And the body companies can fix that instead of replacing the whole hood. So there's a lot of features in there. Now, as far as the um. And that's it. It's just that's it. That's it. Wow. So now that is, I'm not gonna lie, that's nice. Yeah. You wanna try it? Real quick? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I think I might. Uh, Go ahead. Just put your hand under here. Do you see that latch? Kind of like here. Push it. And just push it, it in. Like you pull it over to the side. So you, you know, pull it over this way. Like that. Until it pops. Go ahead. Keep on doing. Wow. <laughs> put just, you know, just put a couple fingers in there. See how much pressure it takes to open it. That is amazing, man. Pretty easy though. Because usually I, well, on my, yeah, usually I lean. Put your foot up here, you put get your some foot leverage. Down. That's right. That is amazing, so that's man. Redesigned. I like that. Yeah. Excited about the LED, you know. Um, but the main nuts and bolts of difference is the inside of the truck. Totally redesigned inside. Completely with, uh, changed. Yes. Completely changed. Tons of driver input. You know, we had a bunch of study groups over the years mm -hmm. getting their best their intake their feedback and incorporate a lot of those features benefits that they that they wanted to see into it. climb on in here then nice seats absolutely almost look like a king rancher in here man <laughs> so you know plush interior first thing you notice too is we finally have a full stand up Okay. We never had a stand up sleeper. Oh. It was always had the, the cap there and you know, and then you go into the sleeper box. So it's full stand up, 70 inch, all redesigned inside, all new cabinetry, new seats, yeah, new steering wheel, yeah. and new, you know, new dash display. We took a lot of the, you know, most of the drivers, people, they mm -hmm. get into their own personal vehicles, whether it's a truck and everything. Yeah. So in the past, we had windshield wipers, cruise control, different thing up on the D panel. Mm -hmm. So now we took that and, you know, it's, it's familiar. Yeah. You know, put it on these stalks. Uh, you know, you have windshield wipers, lights, all that. Oh, stuff. yeah, just like your car at home. Smart steering wheel, which is the first for us to have, you know, with the radio, cruise control, Bluetooth capability, that, you know, just like your personal vehicle now, taking some of those stuff that are for I'm not gonna lie, like this feels like a like you're driving a dually. I agree, I agree, and that's the thing, that's based on the input, you know, something that's familiar. Okay, well, well uh, and um, rubber floor, oh yeah, this is spacious. Yeah, and, and this comes all different types of options, and that's what's unique about it, um, you know, probably best in class uh, cabinetry offerings. You know, we never had a back wall cabinet, you know. And a lot of this stuff, when we uh, came out with the Anthem, a lot of the, you know, the money was spent on mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, wow. direct inject molded parts, yeah. quality parts and everything like that. And you can feel it when you close it. So, you know, you can get it without this back wall cabinet and the double bunk options. You, is, you know? is, is that a, a lay down functional bed cup holder? Yes, that absolutely what? is. So you have all this storage here. You got cup holders right here. You know, that and is so it's innovative set up, right there, yeah. man. It's set up for the drivers. And like I said, if you need a double bunk, you can remove this, put a double bunk in here. You have all these cabinet spaces, storage spaces up here. You can get a microwave option or a closed door cabinet option here. You get the, you know, the TV, mm -hmm. integrated TV stand right, right here with all the cables and everything, you know drawers different nice things dirty drawer right there you know brand new uh brand new refrigerator wow. led it's got the freezer part here and these trays move based on what you need to put in there but that it's is a, nice man. right it's, it's pretty neat so that's not going to swing open when you're right. driving nope. oh that's the it's worst and then over here there's you know lots of different things you can get the cabinets you get the of course this you get the the workstation type deal this is a wardrobe cabinet and you can also get it without the wardrobe cabinet and you just get the cabinet with the door up here but it's a full you know it's like a mini closet wow you know where you can hang your clothes driver can put his clothes Has up bar there in there yep uh, that is great well how many speakers is this stereo system i'm seeing i one, think this two, is the three, premium so it should be six six yeah, yeah one two six. three four and five. some over here then this you know you got all the the sleeper compartment that where the driver is here mm -hmm. he controls air temperature you know if it has the inverter system you have the plug-ins right there oh, that are built right there that is nice yeah the actual plug regular plugs just, correct correct right th that so, is actually a big deal to truckers man like, absolutely so you know with the inverter system then you get the plugs here and then you know there's multiple other ones down here as well and what is this is this for the apu system here Th this is for the apu system so mm -hmm. that this truck uh currently spec with a idle free it's a battery mm -hmm. uh, apu type system so i mean with that the, the, this is done at our mod center so then that's okay. installed right there but all the controls and everything all right there. you know multiple charging outlets you know various different things we're you know we're just right there at the driver where we're here now do you know how many um how many inches is this sleeper as far as the, it's a 70 inch stand-up sleeper 70 inch stand-up sleeper full stand-up sleeper correct and it is um a 70 inch stand-up sleeper uh it has a what liter in this one the motor yes so it's a this is our mp8 so it's a 13 liter mm -hmm. so our 13 liter and i don't know specifically what horsepower this yeah. but it goes from a 415 mm -hmm. to a 505 and from yeah. 1660 to 1860 foot pounds of torque in it, a 13 liter and and in the seats the seats have all of the lumbar stuff you need. right and you can get them all different ways this is the wow you know, this goes from the side these are sears seats that we partnered with on uh -huh. anthem product the design you know exclusively proprietary for us um in our anthem product mm -hmm. so and yeah. how much does one of these go for on average you know it just depends on the specs i mean you know you can get with the cabinets you can yeah. get it as plush as you want this has the ultra interior you can get a standard interior yeah a premium interior but you know anywhere from because i would want to drive this around by my house like i wouldn't <laughs> want to drive my truck like I this is you. nice I love it. yeah <laughs> with the wood grain jay hoffman mr sales sales manager of mac trucks this is the new anthem come see it i appreciate you john no problem